tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell and make sure you hit that notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam Crafts, I'm going to share with you a small crafts haul. And all of these items in this craft haul came from Amazon. If it sounds like something you're interested in seeing, and I hope that it is, stay tuned. Let me show you what I got. These items here um, are die cuts. I got a lot of die cuts. The point in this haul is I'm going to be making a lot of greeting cards. These craft items are going to be a part of an upcoming project that I will be posting a video on. So these die cuts are uh, from K and Company. I think almost everything is from K and Company. Um, I had never heard of K and Company before, and I was watching a video. Uh, I enjoy her channel quite a bit. Gift basket appeals, and um, she makes a lot of greeting cards and things like that. And she does a lot of crafts and greeting cards. And that's how I found out about Kane Company. And when I went online to check them out, I really enjoyed what I saw, the die cuts and everything. So I ordered, um, I ordered quite a bit. As you'll see, this I ordered, um, you get two. I thought it was a mistake. I almost, I was gonna return it because I didn't mean to order two. You just get two. I think these cost about $6 and you get two of them. And they're identical. And I thought maybe I had just put two in the cart and I didn't mean to, but you get two of them for $6. And I thought they were really pretty. It's uh, a lot of, you get 90 pieces in here and some of them are worth some mixture of um, embellishments, flowers, um, sayings that said happy, happy day, totally, I pick you, DIYs, I wish I could see everything, sing. There's a lot of words in, in uh, flowers that could be used to embellish greeting cards and since that's going to be the project that I'm going to do I thought these were perfect and then again K hey company this one here are, is stickers they're actually just stickers they're not die cuts but they're uh, like not 3d but they're uh, raised like 2d maybe um, raised that you can see on here and I thought they were so beautiful I can just vision the, I the things that I can do uh, with these uh, new beginnings love be original be grateful amor amore I like that sisters unforgettable unconditional love just breathe bloom and grow one day at a time for you always be true so there's 51 stickers in here and I thought that uh, I know that this is going to get used a lot as a matter of fact i'm pretty certain this is going to be on you know because it's going to be a series of greeting cards that i'm going to make and i'm sure this is going to be in that first edition <laughs> i thought that was so pretty the colors and then this they they remind me of one another again another k and company and i guess that's why i picked them there seems to be this theme i have going on this one here says um remember and i thought that was really nice special celebrate about you carefree laughter and hope I can see these on these die cuts and not just greeting cards actually to be honest with you because I could use like some of these stickers here some of these stickers here I'm sure will also end up in inside my happy planner when I'm doing a plan with me so I'm, I'm pretty certain I'll, you'll see those there. These are a little bulky. I, I like them and I wouldn't mind using them with a plan with me, but I think my planner is already starting to become a fatty. So <laughs> she's already starting to get, you know, because I keep the whole year inside my planner. So it's already kind of thick. She's already a thickum and these would make it bigger. So I doubt if I use these inside the happy planner, but I would definitely use these on greeting cards. These I can use on greeting cards and inside my planner, and I'm sure you'll see them. This was an accident. I didn't mean to purchase this. Um, I didn't even know I had ordered it. I thought it was by mistake. And I was gonna send it back, but um, they didn't have free returns. So the money that it would have cost me to return it is what I paid for it. It was like five bucks I paid for this. 
and I didn't mean to. Um, but I, I figure there are some things in here that I can use, the memorable moments I can use, fun in the sun. I'm getting ready to take, uh, I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I'll use fun in the sun. I'm, I, I can make them work. I can use them. Then I've got, finally, I'm probably the last person on earth to get metal discs. <laughs> I'm sure everybody in the world, everybody in the happy planner world has their discs already, except me. Finally, I got my metal discs. Um, but the, I wanted the, um, I got silver, I got gold, and I got pink, fuchsia, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so I still want the uh, the green ones, the, the turquoise teal color ones I thought would match with my planner really well. The gold ones will too, and so will the fuchsia ones. Actually, I, I'm going to use them all, but I really want to get the teal ones. They did not have those online. Uh, I went and I checked out Michael's, and I also looked at... Um, Mombi, I went to their website as well, and nobody had the green one, so I'm still on the lookout for those. If anybody knows where I can get the expander, the, the, the teal colored metal expander discs, let me know down below, and uh, I would love to be able to go out and pick those up, and I'd actually put them in my planner now. Actually, I'm probably going to use the gold ones now because I don't have the green ones, but as soon as I get the green ones, I don't want to have to, to be honest with you, I will use the gold ones if I can't find the green ones. I'm going to take one more shot at finding, trying to find the green ones so that when I change it out, I don't have to keep changing it out. So if I can't find the green ones, I'm going to use the gold metal disc if I can't find the green. I'm hoping I can find them. Teal, turquoise, not green. But those are pretty young. Like I said, I'm probably the last person on the planet to get my disc. But I'm so excited that I have them now. I'm going to use them. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get these in my planner. Excited. Excited. So if I don't find the teal ones, I'll use the gold ones. And then I got an edge punch. The large edge punch. Because I noticed, and if you see here, this is the print. This is what the punch comes out to look like. I just thought this would be pretty in making the greeting cards. If you look at that edge there, I had uh, uh, an idea in mind for a greeting card. And this was going to give me the ability to do it. Again, I still have not bought my die cut machine. I still have not bought uh, um, the um, a silhouette or a Cricut. I still had not decided which one I want to get. Some days I lean towards the Cricut. Some days I lean towards the silhouette. I don't know which one I want to get, but I haven't gotten it yet. Um, but I thought in the meantime, this would work for me quite well. I'm still trying to decide what, what, um, I didn't know whether I should get a die cut machine. Just, you know, like the, the, the big shot die cut machine. Cause I like the die cuts with the greeting cards, but I also wanted the ability to do more and, you know, the cricket and the silhouette would give me more options. I think that the, 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 uh, die cut machines like the big shots and the uh oh gosh what are the other names i can't think of the other names or the you know the manual ones the manual die cut machines are faster they're quicker you can get it hit it get it done and get what you need as opposed to the um you know the uh cricket or the silhouette it takes more but you have more options to use um, and of course, I want whichever one is Wi-Fi because I've got enough wires in my office. I don't need any more. And I've got some paper. I know this was a popular paper pad. I got it and I, again, I'm thinking greeting cards with this. These are the pictures here on the front of the different types of paper. I think that paper is beautiful though. Look at that. Let me open it. I thought this, look at that. That is just beautiful. How it's, it's um, on both sides. So that will be the back. 
and this will be the front. And I just think that is so pretty. I finally, I finally picked it up and got one for myself. And then, um, and I don't know what I paid for that. I don't remember the price. Oh yes, I do. Um, I think it was $11 I paid. So I thought that was a good price too because I saw this at Joanne Crass and I believe it was $15. But I got it on Amazon for 11. And then I got these. Um, these are also, these are 3D, um, they're die cut slash stickers. There's 19 of them. These were expensive. This was not what I thought it was going to be. I paid $8 for this, for 19 stickers. Well, I knew it was just 19 stickers, but I don't know. You know, they blow it up. It's really, Amazon can be kind of deceptive in that they make you think it's bigger. I was thinking that actually these die cuts were going to be the same as these. I thought they were the same size. You know, they make them look that way. So if you think you're getting this size sticker with this theme, but that's not the case. As you can see, they're they're quite small. I mean, I'm gonna use them. I'll use them for sure. Um, but they're a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. What do they say? Happy, explore, you, us, wish, joy, kind, believe, be best, smile, love, trust, live, celebrate, love, dreams, laugh, and hope. So some of them are just flat stickers and then some of them are 3D. And this is from Studio 112. And then I got the birthday stickers because I'm gonna be making a great a greeting card for birthday. I'm gonna be making a birthday greeting card for um, coming up soon. And I just thought that was so pretty. Birthday wishes, another year older. I just thought that was really, really cute. The gift box. And it's not too girly. It can, I can, and it, you know, it's gonna be a masculine greeting card and I didn't want it to be too girly, too frilly, you know, cause you can do that. And, like this one I thought this is another one I'm going to be using as well another greeting card for a birthday but as you can see it's not as um, this is a little more juvenile to me this will be for a younger person you know birthday card kit as opposed to this one can go either way it you know the glitter in there makes it where it can go a little feminine with a you know a few little pink items it can go either way so that's what I liked about this one. These are the 3D stickers. This one, I believe was $2. This one was $2. They were both $2. And actually I got two of these. And then I got some more die cuts. And these die cuts were for, um, I think it's supposed to be for a wedding. A wedding greeting card love it says faith hope love the greatest of these is love first Corinthians 13 uh, 15 and 13 13 and 13 first Corinthians 13 and 13 so I think this is supposed to be for a wedding um, so I will be making a greeting card with that as well And then this one here, I got this one just because I just couldn't resist it. You know, I'm a coffee, you know, I'm a coffee drinker. I love my coffees, but I can only have it in the mornings and I cannot have it past 10 o'clock. I have to have coffee, the caffeine, because I don't drink decaf coffee. I drink just regular lattes, but I cannot have it after 10 o'clock or it makes me jittery and it keeps me from sleeping at night. So I have to have it in the morning and I'm done by 10 o'clock with caffeine. Um, it says mornings are for coffee. My mornings are. And I just thought those were so pretty. And this was, I love these. Even though I don't drink them, like the Frappuccino kind of things with the whipped cream and the desserty type coffees, because I don't like cold coffee. I see people drinking these and it looks, they're more desserty. They're beautiful. I love them, but I can't drink cold coffee. They make, they make, they make me feel sick. They make my stomach upset. Cold coffee doesn't work for me. But let me tell you, lattes, that's my thing. 
I can do the same thing, just make it warm. But I got these because they were absolutely beautiful. Puffy stickers is what they're called. Puffy stickers. And this costs, I think this was $2.99. But I got it because I was like, it would be a combination of paper clips. I can make a paper clip, a page holder, um, like I have here in my book, or like I have here in my planner. Um, so it'll be a combination of greeting cards and um, happy mail. And um, it'll be a combination of paper clips, happy mail, and greeting cards. So I just couldn't resist that. I'm almost done here. And then here's another birthday wish, again, for an older person. Um, I thought a combo, that's why I got two packs of, um, that's why I got two packs of these because I thought that I could use a combination of these and make it a little older and masculine. That's the goal. I will probably use a combination to get the look that I'm trying to go for for the birthday card for the person that I'm making. But I thought that was pretty, huh? Happy birthday. Make a wish. It's your day. Celebrate. Time to celebrate. Hip, hip, hooray. I just thought that was so pretty. I just loved it. And this was, um, ooh, I want to say $1.99. I think it was $1.99. And then last but not least are the Kelly Creates. I love Kelly Creates uh, stamps and, and stickers. I have some of her stickers um, um, that I used before and I like her stickers. And these are her um, clear stampers, the clear stamps used for brush tip pen. Yeah, so I thought that these were absolutely, well you can use these either with the, um, um, a stamp pad or like with your Tombow markers I more than likely will use these with a um, you know put them on a block and use them with a stamp pad but um, when you're doing um, when I want to create words these I'll probably you'll see these in my planner as well and you can mix the words up to create what it, whatever you want and if the if there's not if there's, there's words, of course, that I'm going to need on a regular basis that's not in here, that's why I purchased this one. I purchased this so that I can create anything that's not in here. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same calligraphy style. It's the same print style. So if I wanted to create birthday in here, then, you know, I can put them together on my block and stamp birthday, happy, and then birthday, or happy, and then um, anniversary you know, or happy, and then Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? You get the gist of what I'm saying. So that's why I bought these. I like her stamps and stickers. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's all that I have. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my small, quick crafts haul from Amazon. If you did, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Make sure you hit that notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I upload new videos every week. Again, come back next week and tune in. You'll start to see some of these projects. You'll start to see some of these items in upcoming videos that I post. Again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.